Good morning. It is Thursday today and I am in London. I'm in the flat. Um, Molly's moved in so I'm, there's a lot of furniture everywhere but I'm quite enjoying it. I'm sat at a desk currently doing my skincare routine. <gasps> what is that green on me? To be honest, I don't, I've been having feelings about the flat and whether it's working. It took me four hours to get down here yesterday. Um, if you were to drive straight, it would be three hours, but like by the time I stop and then account for traffic, and obviously I have to stop because I have to pee, but by the time I do both those things, it's like four, four and a half hours, it's just so long. So I'm just wondering whether maybe I should start getting the train and just like stay in a hotel closer to Paddington Station maybe. I don't know, I need to think about it, but I just, I'm not sure it's working. I put this on my skin this morning I have spoken about this before, but I was a bell end and wasn't putting it on damp skin, which makes the biggest difference. That's exactly what you should be doing with hyaluronic acid. So I've been using that morning and night. Love it. And I've used Magic Eye Rescue under my eyes. And now I'm using Dermalogica Smart Rescue Serum, which says it responds to skin's changing needs. I've only started using this the last few days and my skin's been really soft. Today I have a shoot. I don't I don't know what I'm allowed to say. Um, so I might wait until I'm there to explain what it is that the shoot is for. But it's for a magazine and it's like a collaboration between the magazine and a makeup brand. And um, I've been selected as part of this sort of campaign that they're doing. So like the one of the part of the feature is about me and fields drop and stuff like that which is really cool um so i'm getting picked up at half eight it's 20 past seven at the moment so i'm just gonna prep my skin um and then this evening i'm meeting uh, one of my friends for dinner i have her birthday present i haven't given to her yet i went for a lovely dinner last night with my manager to celebrate fields drop series one we like spoke about it read all the feedback like talked about series two and stuff like that um which was really nice we went to a place called lena stores in king's cross i'm actually going to king's cross again today also i've got to show you that this is a moisturizer i'm using the ordinary natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid so a lot of hydration going on <laughs> I'm here and what I'm doing but um because I didn't know if I was going to be able to say anything but I am doing a shoot with stylist and bare minerals today it's getting closer how to keep the heat when it gets colder you know sometimes everything just gets hard sometimes everything just gets harder feeling like I'm missing some parts days just keep on getting much darker even when I'm down in the
on the edge of such a serious thing and I'm like, there's a camera in your face. We're at the shoot, having dinner. Let me tell you, I have never been more excited to have a shower and wash my hair. One thing about this Finsbury Park Palace is that this bed is glorious. Today was absolutely incredible. I loved it. Just an incredible team, an incredible like, everyone was so bloody good at their job. Felt really confident, felt really like proud and like emotional. I always feel emotional to be fair. But it was a really long day and then I went and met Abby. I felt a bit anxious at one point. Cause I was like, I think maybe because I just had a long day and I was really tired. Jojo and Molly, are, it sounds like they're arguing, but they're not. Hey, maybe they are arguing. Jay? Jay? Jason? Yeah. Are you arguing? No, why? Oh, cause I'm on the vlog and it sounds like you are. Anyway, it's 11 o'clock now. 11, 11, <gasps> make a wish. Tomorrow morning, me and Emily, one of my best friends are going, we're going for a walk in the morning very, very early at like sunrise. So I need to have a good sleep. And then um, got a nice day tomorrow with dad and his partner, Rachel. We're going to sort dad's suit out for the wedding. So that should be nice. But yeah, really busy day. I don't know what footage I got. I have no idea. Um, it's always really hard to film on shoots. Like I can film like bits, but I can't really like talk to you as I'm going along because it's just a lot going on. Yeah, an amazing day. I'm feeling very, very grateful. Good morning, everybody. Look how I'm with. <gasps> You've not been on the vlog yet. You've just watched them. I'm here. <laughs> Have you gone shy? Yeah. <laughs> no. well, I was going to introduce myself, then I was like, I pretend. No, please. I'm Emily. How do we know each other? Can yeah. you hug me back? <laughs> Not with <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> they just literally held my belly as if I'm pregnant. <laughs> right, um, we we met. No, you you go, you go. We met. <laughs> We're hugging. <laughs> In Guildford. Long. I actually don't know how long it was now. Over ten years. When we went to drama yeah, school, when 19, we went to, we went to the same drama school and we were housemates basically. Yeah, we were housemates for the year that I was in drama school. We've come for a beautiful walk this morning in Cliffs Old Park. It's, it's, it's a lovely morning. Yeah, it's a lovely morning, isn't it? The sun hills are alive. Do you not think the sun makes the biggest difference, even if it's oh, cold? Yeah, yeah. I, I base my day's mood off the sun. Yeah, me too. And That's I, why I've been I miserable for like to, six but months. I can't help it. Just happens. <laughs> Hi, hello again. <laughs> well, I, feel, I not... feel like this isn't like me in my best light to have been caught on my first vlog. Have you seen me? And no, We're raw and honest you. and unfiltered. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you want? Hiya. Oh my god. It's hot cross bun season soon. Oh. I love Easter, do you? I do like oh Easter. My. What are they? they Cinnamon look... buns. Oh, they look like uh, sweet Yorkshire puddings. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Take the girl out of Sheffield. Morning. I realised that I haven't spoken to you today because um, it's been a bit of a rush. So yeah, we're looking at um, suits for dad for the wedding. at the flat now we it's do you know what it's really bloody difficult to vlog when you're with people um and then also when you're when it's really busy i was, oh, I was really tempted to just get in the car and drive home however i didn't sleep very well last night and i just know that the sensible idea is that well, it's not a sensible idea, it's fucking stupid. So I've come back to the flat, I've just had a shower, rinsed off the hair gel in my hair, and I've just ordered a frozen yogurt. I, do you know what, I've not eaten a lot today, but I'm not hungry at all. When I say I've not eaten a lot, all we ate, um, I had a really gorge cappuccino from Gales this morning, which you saw. Then for lunch, we had, um, we went to a place called 45 German Street, just behind Fortnum and Mason. If you want a London recommendation for somewhere to go and eat dinner, it's really lush in there. And I had like a chicken salad, like a crunchy chicken salad with some bread and butter. 
So maybe it was the bread that filled me up. No, it's still like, I've still not eaten a lot today. And that's it. That's all I've eaten. Oh, a couple of crisps and a Diet Coke. I was looking on Deliveroo and trying to like find anything that inspired me and I just like wasn't that first but I have been craving I always crave frozen yogurt when I come down here because literally nowhere does it in the southwest literally nowhere there used to be a place in Bristol in one of the retail parks I think it was like Bedminster retail park used to do it and then they fucking closed it down so there's no frozen yogurt anywhere so every time I come to London I feel like I crave it just because I know that I can't get it anywhere else so I've got one of them on my way and I'm just gonna have a really chilled night i bought some lush things from abercrombie and fitch today went into the regent street store but i'm going to show you them when i'm back home tomorrow i'm going to get up really early tomorrow and drive home because the lighting's better and yes yeah, just easier for me to show you but some really nice stuff probably i think actually as well my first like wedding -y, wedding week purchases were made today fucking love that shop so much just feel like the clothes fit me so oh just feel like the clothes fit me so well so exciting i'm in london again next week but um i had an email today basically being in and i have been invited to the stylist remarkable women awards on monday which it's just incredible like it's such a massive honor we'll let you know your riders on the way oh god what a dream yeah i just feel really grateful i feel just so honored to have been invited and that's it's come off the back of the shoot on friday i had some really lovely comments saying that i was lovely to work with and that they wanted to invite me on monday which is just super lush so i need to find something to wear it's all happening and you know what being told that you're great to work with and that you have like a nice energy it's just such a high compliment and for me a compliment like that is carries so much further than being told like oh your face is so stunning or you have the best body i've ever seen in my life strive for those sorts of compliments in life those are the things that you want people to be saying about you name a better friday night dinner we have original big frozen yogurt oh it's making me feel anxious that it's on the bed but I don't care about this bed as much as I care about my actual bed. Little marshmallows, toasted almonds. Well, I got all the toppings today. I went wild. Strawberries, dark chocolate nibs, and milk chocolate crunch. I'm gonna assemble. I mean, look at her. She's full to the brim. Toppings galore. It's 11 o'clock, and I've literally just got through the door, lugged all. Do you know what my toxic trait is? refusing to do two trips when carrying bags is involved when i could potentially break my arm and just do one trip so i've just lugged all my stuff upstairs and i just need to get organized i have one of those huge ikea bags i'm not even going to show you filled with washing and i'm going to try on my deliveries for the hen stuff because now it's saturday today and i'm now going to be back in london from monday to thursday next week which the thought of just exhausts my mind. Um, I'm really struggling with this whole like, I just want, I just love my home. Like I just want to be at home and I feel like I'm running around like a blue ass fly and I can't catch my tail. That's how I feel. But at the same time as feeling all of those things, I'm incredibly grateful, incredibly excited motivated my creative soul is like set on fire it's just kind of weird when two like extreme feelings coexist i guess hello my darling good boys you're a bit stinky good morning everybody just made some baked oats i really fancied them today i don't normally fancy baked oats on a weekend it's normally a weekday breakfast for me Yesterday was a bit of a write-off. I was very emotional. I think I really missed being at home last week. And just like the thought of being in London again next week and not having my plans sorted and stuff was just all a bit overwhelming. But um, I just 
did a couple of like jobs and then had a nap and then had a shower and felt feel better felt better last night and then we got Greek takeaway which was lovely and then we watched Pam and Tommy in bed and had an early night I am going to pop to Waitrose now because I'm craving spag bowl and I just know that nothing else is gonna hit the spot you know and the best the best spag bowl needs to be cooked for a few hours so it's half one now my plan is to be home by half two late no later than half two three four five six seven half seven four and a half hours that would be cooking for so that'd be rate right a week out of ten five right what would have made your week better there's an obvious one that i can think of what well i'll give you a bit of time to think about what could make what could have made your week better Spend more time with you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Good one. wales winning oh they won did they yeah Boxing. Wales. Boxing Will there ever be a vlog where I don't go to Waitrose? Probably not. Popcorn. Beef mints. Pork mints. The spag bar. Bought some strawberries because they look deliciously juicy. Oh, I've just remembered something I've bought which we can have now. Yeah. You'll have to wait and see. <coughs> some plum tomatoes. Some immunity citrus. Um, what do you call it? juice because a household member has been shut down with a big C. Onions, celery. I don't know if you say, should say the big C. Why? Big C means something else. Oh yeah, it? shit, it does, I mean COVID. No, it doesn't, but she's got COVID. Yeah, she's got COVID. Cancer. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, I got your mum's stuff she wanted. Coke Zeros for DTW. Thank you. Well, they're cold. Are they? How are they cold? They shouldn't be cold, they can have the shelf. I had these for the first time last week. W weren't they really nice? Mm. But I oven cooked them and no pop part of it says to oven cook them. They were a little bit dry, but they taste nice. Very, very high in protein. Spaghetti. Some beef stock. Some new anti-back. Basil. These were on offer. They're the Merchant Gourmet. Spicy Cajun style lentils and red kidney beans. High in protein, again. This is what we can have now, some watermelon fingers. And then I also got some mango, yeah? And then last but not least, my new favorite addiction, which is none other than the English breakfast muffin. You like a muffin as well, don't you? Yeah, I don't really like mango. You don't like mango? Since when? I like mango smoothies. Since when did you not like mango? It's all right. It's not like I don't like it. Well, you won't be having any of that now. Yeah. Have some watermelon. Learn something new every eight years. Oh, that was a good one, wasn't it? It's not been eight years. Nearly eight years. Mm. The base of all spag bar, carrot, celery, onions. The trio, sofrito. Gorgeous little Dali Arlins. Whoa! I thought I'd show you what I got from Abercrombie and Fitch. Can't be asked to try them on. I'm really sorry. First thing was this gorgeous little 
mini dress, cotton, little puff sleeves, elasticated waist bit there. This was £65, but I had 20% off everything here when I, when I shopped this stuff. And they also had it online as well, so it wasn't £65, but marked it is. Oh, this dress is gorgeous. Might wear this to the awards tomorrow. It looks pretty plain. It's just like a plain dress, black dress, but it's got a slit up the leg and it just kind of skims the body. It's gorge. And that was... Sorry, I was tell you the sizes. The white dress was got in a large, and this is also in a large, and the price was £65 again. This dress I thought would be so lush for the wedding week. This is the top, and you can wear it like off the shoulder or on or slightly off, and then it's got like tiered bottoms, so it's like a maxi dress, but not too long. Um, really comfy and like this shape here on the chest gorge that was in that got this in a medium and this was 82 pounds and then the last two little things was this white crop top like broderie on glaze fabric little puff sleeves little bow there sweetheart neckline again look at me with the fashion references got this in a large and this was 52 pounds and then last but not least, this knitted beige body with the gorge racer back detail. Really, really nice quality as well. And this was in a medium. This was 42 pounds. 42, what a random price. I really wanted this in black and I wanted it in white as well. It didn't even, they didn't even do it in black and the white was out stocking my size, so that's annoying. So I check out online. Really random for me to go into Abercrombie, to go into any shop actually and just like buy loads of clothes like that but because I know how well their clothes fit me and they had 20% off I just tr like everything I tried on looked lush and because the quality is so good I'll keep it forever um so I just kind of did a bit of a splurge my spag bowl is cooking on slow slow and low and now I need to get myself sorted so pack for tomorrow decide what I'm wearing tan yada 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 Ta-da! The finished result. Nice. <laughs> Can I get into my bed, please? I realise this is the second week in a row that I've ended a vlog in bed on a, on a Tuesday, on a Sunday night, but this is where Sunday's night, Sunday nights end. I've just put fake tan on. And we're about to watch Peaky Blinders. Goodbye. Take your hat off. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Hope you've had a lovely weekend. That's Vinny saying goodbye. And see you next time. <laughs>